What's up everybody, Craig here and good news today. Today, October 22nd, 2013, Apple has released OS 10 Mavericks. So this is a uh, Mac OS 10.9. Uh, Mountain Lion was Mac OS 10.8 um, and the good news is if you've been following Mac over the last few years uh, in 2011 when they released Lion that was $30 to upgrade um, in 2012 they released Mountain Lion which was $20 and today they released Mavericks for free so pretty cool all you gotta do is hit free upgrade buy app and it starts downloading uh, but what we're gonna do differently today is do a clean install and what that means is we will be wiping the entire hard drive and slapping this fresh operating system on and we're starting from scratch if you were to basically do what Apple wanted you to do and click free upgrade basically what it would do is upgrade uh, Mountain Lion 10.8 to 10.9 you're slapping Mavericks on top of Mountain Lion so um, if you're like me and you downloaded Mountain Lion uh, when it came out or you got your your Mac a few you know a year ago or something like that and you had Mountain Lion on it you know over the last year you've probably seen it get a little slower not as fast as it was and I've even seen my boot up time slow down a little bit and not be as fast and I have a solid state drive and 16 gigs of RAM so um, that's why I, I use when Apple releases a new operating system I use it as an excuse to do a clean install so this is your forewarning now to um, go ahead and back up all your data, your pictures, your movies, your music, drag it all to an external. Uh, hope, hopefully you saved your license keys to your programs. If you haven't, know what programs you have so you can um, email the the people who you bought it from and say, hey, I, I need, I forgot my, I lost my serial key and I need it back and they'll give it to you and you can reinstall the program. But you're going to lose everything. But the good news is, is your Mac will be lightning fast again. And uh, even if you have programs like Clean My Mac or Mac Keeper, it's still going to be bogged down a little bit over a year or two. Each year, you know, you're just adding um, more stuff to your operating system and it just gets slower. So that's why I like to do a clean install. So just follow my video. And not only that, I'm going to throw in um, what to do with WingClone. Because if you are like me and you run Boot Camp, which is Windows 7 or Windows 8 on a, on a partition on your hard drive, uh, basically what wind clone does is it clones that entire partition and when you're done wiping your drive putting OS 10 Mavericks on with a couple clicks wind clone will put boot camp partition back exactly the way it was so just pay attention I'm gonna wait for um, Mavericks to get done downloading as you can see it's downloading and when it's done I'll pick this video back up all right while we are uh, waiting for um, OS 10 Mavericks to be done downloading which it's almost what you're gonna do right here and this is very very important it wants you to hit continue but you're gonna go command Q and get out of there and I'll show you what to do with that next but for now I'm gonna show you how wind clone works now if you got wind clone and you got a boot camp partition what you want to do is and I already have this done, so I'm just going to show you what to do. It automatically notices your boot camp partition. And so you have that highlighted. You hit image. And you have to have a hard drive. Now, I got a terabyte hard drive cloned into three different partitions. But um, you have to have a hard drive formatted in uh, Mac OS Journal. And, and the way to do that is to get uh, disk utility and to go ahead and plug in your hard drive. And I got a uh, terabyte but uh, you plug it in and then you hit erase and everything on it will be erased but um, if you have a free hard drive up somewhere um, you want it uh, in this format that's how to save uh, the wind clone clone so it has to be a Mac OS uh, extended journal so once that's in the right format you hit image and then you choose to save it to and I want to save it to Mac and, and it saves it just as a file and uh, you name it you know boot camp and then I'd hit save and it'll just start imaging it and when it gets done it will look like this it'll look like this and when you're ready to restore all you do is drag it in there and click restore but we're not gonna get to that yet I'm gonna show you later but I'm showing you how easy it is to use and everything will be right back the way you had it so um, now I'm going to talk about what to do with the um, OS 10 Mavericks app how it's done downloading as you can see um, so stand by alright just to show people what I'm talking about as far as um, how fast your MacBook or Mac will be after you clean install 
OS X Mavericks. I'm going to go ahead and do a reboot real quick so you can see. So I have a solid state drive right now and it used to be super fast but I'm going to go ahead and reboot and see how fast it takes to reboot. Later I'm going to go ahead and do another test and show you what it's like after a clean install of Mac OS X Mavericks. You'll see how much faster it is. Just taking a minute, just thinking. Okay, so it's decent, decent for a solid state drive, but watch after I do the clean install. Okay, a lot has changed since the install of Mountain Lion. Before you used to, um, if you see my other video, you used to be able to drag the install DMG into um, Disk Utility. Now you can't do that. Um, they have hidden the file. So I have found out that what you need to do is you need to go to your thumb drive that you're going to be uh, mounting it to. You need to erase. You need to, uh, it needs to be a Mac OS extended journal just like normal. You hit erase. After that, you go to partition. Okay. And then you hit one partition. Make sure GUID is. Uh, partition table is selected, which it should be. You hit apply, partition, you're good to go. But you're not done there. These two things need to go into terminal. So we're going to go ahead and go to terminal. Okay. This will be in the description. I've already done this, but you need to go ahead and just highlight this in the description all the way from defaults all the way to true um, you get highlight it and then you're gonna click on this uh, and then you're going to hit um, you're gonna paste it in there so basically you would highlight this uh, command C you click on that you hit command V hit enter after that you click on this again highlight kill all finder and then you're gonna uh, hit command C and then click on this hit command V and then I'll paste that in there hit enter um, all this stuff will disappear and then reappear you can now see hidden files so now that we've done that we're going to go ahead and go into our install uh, DMG for um, Mac OS X Mavericks or OS X Mavericks applications there we go show package contents contents share support now you get to double click on this and then you'll be able to see base system this is what you need drag it into disk utility Okay. Now we're going to have to mount this base system onto. You're going to click here. You're going to click restore. You're going to drag the base system. You're going to drag title one. So this is our source. Okay. This is the um, this is the Mavericks uh, OS 10 Mavericks, and this is going to be our destination, the thumb drive. You hit restore. Put in your password and make it happen alright once we're done this is gonna pop up after you've uh, mounted that base system to uh, your thumb drive this is gonna pop up and what we wanna do is we wanna go to system then we wanna go to installation and this package is right here we wanna get rid of this this little alias we wanna go ahead and drag in your trash and empty your trash then what we want to do is open the OS 10 install ESD that's right here on your desktop and you're going to drag these packages into there where that other packages was and you're going to let this copy and this is going to take about five minutes so I'm going to stop the video right here but after this you would have a bootable uh, drive uh, and uh, you'll be able to do a clean install so just keep following the video after you've done this you're good to go you're ready to boot with this uh, thumb drive and uh, and just keep following the video. All right, now that we have our bootable media, um, make sure it's in, and then you're gonna go ahead and restart. Restart while holding the option button the whole time. Don't let it go. So you're gonna hold the option button, and it should come up yellow. 
which means it's a bootable media, a bootable operating system. Okay, you can go over to the OS 10 base system and click on it. Okay. All right, now remember, you just don't go ahead and start installing OS X Mavericks. You have to wipe your drive, so you're going to need to use Disk Utility, which when we hit the next button will be in the Utilities. I'll show you. Okay. Now, um, we are going to go to Utilities and then disk utility we are going to I'm going to click on my solid state drive right there I am going to hit erase and I'm going to make sure it's uh, in OS Mac yeah, let me focus that Mac OS extended journal okay I'm going to name it Mavericks okay and I just click erase. Once you click erase, your whole hard drive's gone. Everything's erased. Everything you had on that's gone. And now that it's done, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and exit out. And then there we are back at the Maverick screen again. I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna hit agree. And then I'm gonna install it on Mavericks. And that's it. That's a clean install. Alright, so now that I have uh, Mavericks installed, I, as you can see, I have all my apps back. And so now I'm going to do a reboot so you can see the difference between a clean install and an upgrade. Watch how quick this is going to be when it shuts off and boots up. And I'm already up and rocking. So pretty quick. What do you guys think? Alright, so here is uh, Mac OS 10.9 Mavericks. And uh, it's pretty cool. we got iBooks and Apple Maps and everything we've heard about. So it's pretty cool. But, um, uh, you know, I'm going to go in the App Store and re-download all my stuff. Install all my programs I bought and all that other good stuff. Um, but I downloaded two programs right off the bat. I downloaded... Uh, wing clone and easy screen record easy screen record so you can see this and wing clone for those of you who have boot camp partitions I'm about to show you what to do so um, without further ado let me go ahead and go into Mac I'm gonna go ahead and grab my clone I'm gonna go into this and I'm going to let's see Is that where to go back up okay my backup my Windows 8 clone I'm gonna drag it in there now we're going to leave it in there. Go ahead and exit out of that. Remember, this is your image that we uh, saved when I showed you how to save your image um, of your Windows 8 partition. It's 103 gigabytes. Um, so you can't say, you can't create, right now we have to create a partition. You can't create a partition smaller than that. It has to be the same size or bigger. You can, but um, it's special instructions and just follow me with what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to go into disk utility right now and we have to create a partition and the partition is going to be FAT32 so I'm going to click on my hard drive I'm going to click partition I'm going to click add I'm going to click on this I'll call it boot camp okay FAT32 and now I'm going to make it 104 gigabytes now I hit tab so it tabs off it it'll size that up now we're going to hit apply okay partition the video all right after we created our partition that was 104 gigabytes if you see it right here um, that's why I made it for 104 because if you saw this is 103 gigabytes 
and uh, if you saw if I made it for 103 gigabytes it'd be 102.97 so that's why I made it for one gig more so um, so once you do um, you go ahead and we're going to select destination Ooh, oh no we're going to select this and we're going to select the boot camp uh, 103.97 gigabytes as the destination and then you're going to click restore restore replace Put in your password and that's it when this is done your boot camp partition is back exactly the way you imaged it everything will be just right so even your product keys will all be good your programs will be activated so that's it with WinClone and that's it with this um, tutorial so let me know what you think uh, like subscribe comment I know this is a little long but it included the WinClone slash bootcamp restore um, again, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoy.